Hello, hello, this is Chris from CoolPhotoshopVideos.com. In this quick tutorial, we're actually going to go over how you make a custom business card. I know a lot of people are like, hey, how do you make a business card in Photoshop? Well, we're going to go ahead and do a simple one. And I'm probably thinking I might go ahead and just uh, make a cool Photoshop videos business card while I'm at it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go up to the file menu and go to new. Now, if your dimensions are set on pixels right here, what we want to do is set them to inches. So if it's set on pixels, then we want to change them to inches. Okay. Now, the width of a business card, the standard size is usually 3.5 and the height is usually 2. So for now, for instructional purposes, we'll just go ahead and keep the resolution at 72. So what we'll do is we'll call this cool Photoshop videos biz card that's the name of the photoshop document okay so now that we have this it automatically opens in the window that's open so we'll just go ahead and kind of slide that out there and just so we can have some room to play with let's go ahead and make that bigger so right now it's at a hundred that's at a hundred percent so of course we want to make our image size bigger because if this is at a hundred percent it looks that small uh, then if we were to make it bigger then it would be pixelated and all messed up so we don't want that so we're gonna go down to image size and we're gonna change the dimensions right here where it says 72 and we're going to change that to let's say 150 okay and then once we change that to 150 then boom there we go now we have a bigger business card so there are actually two methods that I want to show you um, but the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, grab our rectangle tool and once we grab our rectangle tool then what we can do is simply and what I'm thinking because you always want to have in mind what you want your card to look like so I'm thinking we can have a, a divider going across horizontally have uh, the logo come up here and have most of the information right down here and probably the name my name right here and then uh, you know the title right under here and then the rest of the information and I might just go ahead and have the website address right down here on the left okay so the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and change this color so one thing we could do to get our colors is uh, just move this down here anytime you take uh, the color swatch you can just grab one of these colors with the eyedrop tool that's the tool I have selected so I want to grab one of these colors right here and that's that burgundy right there if I click right there it should be the same type of burgundy so if you could see it it's grabbing that color right there so now that we have our color selected uh, we're just gonna hit OK so let me do that again because I think it was out of view so once the color is selected, um, I just hit OK right there. And then now we have our color selected. So let me go ahead and move this back up. And we're going to just draw. Um, and you see over here to the left, we have the ruler. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But this thing goes from 0 inches to 2 inches down. And 0 inches here to 3 and a half inches there. So we want to go ahead and make it... Um, put it right there halfway point and then just click and drag it down okay boom okay now if I you see how it's kind of overlapping the canvas right there that's fine because it's not going to show up on the actual document but if you wanted to adjust you could just hit the move tool or better yet um, the uh, direct selection tool and there we have it boom okay so yeah the move tool is just gonna move the whole thing but the direct selection tool if you click and hold that arrow right there and hit direct selection tool it's gonna allow you to adjust it right there so now that we have that then uh, Another thing we can do is if we look at our logo, what other colors do we have? So we have 
the burgundy, the white, and we have this copper looking color, and then we have black. So to kind of distinguish both of them, and since there's only a little bit of black in here, I'm going to use a black to, to divide uh, this portion right here. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just grab another rectangle tool and I'll hit that, make the color black, hit OK. And this time I'm just going to go ahead and make a real thin black line. And of course, it didn't make it black. <laughs> so we're going to click black, hit OK, boom, there we go. So now we have the burgundy, we have the white up there, and we have the black. So the next thing we want to do is want to go ahead and drop our logo in. So if we have our logo open right here, all we have to simply do since it's already open is grab our move tool, click, and just drag it on in there. Boom. But of course it's too big, right? So what we want to do is size it down. So the shortcut to size it down or to get the handles around it is control T. So I hit control T and I can't see any of the handles. So what I'll do is I'll hit control zero or command zero on the Mac and then that allows me to see the handles. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and alt or shift and option on the Mac and size it down, size it down, size it down. And I think we're good right there. Don't you? I think we're good. Let me just move it over here. So, as you can see, it looks like it's. It doesn't need to necessarily be halfway, because uh, I want most of, mostly the logo to show. Now you don't have to if you don't want to, but um, just looking at it, I can tell that I'm probably not gonna want it like that. So what I want to do is, I want to. Oh, let me let me stretch it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna hold shift. and hit enter and then what I'm gonna do with this is hit the direct selection tool again and this time I'm gonna hold shift and move it down to about right there and all I have to do is select this layer and hit the down layer hit the down layer hit the down arrow the move tool hit the down arrow boom I think that looks so much better I think it looks so much better all right control T or command T what you think guys I think that looks good but for the sake of the tutorial I'm not gonna be all detailed I need to go ahead and hurry up and finish this one because you're like uh, why is it taking so long Chris all right so next thing I want to do is and probably on the other side I'll probably have a white background with just the logo itself so let me go ahead and grab the text tool and initializing type tool it doesn't do that every time Here we go. All right. So next, we want to do is want to type name C H. Let's scale it down some. Let's scale it down. 